Jenny Officer, to ask the First Minister what extra support the Scottish Government can provide to Police Scotland to assist with the additional pressures being placed on officers dealing with COVID-19 measures. First Minister. Uh, Police Scotland has been at the front and centre of the response to COVID and continues to work closely with partners, uh, including local authorities and the NHS, to support the response. Uh, the Chief Constable has been clear that maintaining and supporting the health and well-being of the workforce is a key priority, and we continue to be very grateful to police officers and staff uh, who put themselves in harm's way every day to protect the public. Uh, this year, we've increased funding for policing by £60 million to more than £1.2 billion, but we know that COVID is an unprecedented event which could lead to expenditure above this budget allocation. So we continue to work closely with the Police Authority and Police Scotland to monitor and manage the financial impacts of COVID on the policing budget. Stuart McWillan. Uh, I thank the First Minister for that reply. The First Minister will know the challenges being placed upon Police Scotland throughout COVID-19 uh, and how they are generally trying to keep every single one of us safe. The First Minister will also be aware of the spate of firebomb attacks in my constituency in recent weeks uh, and the reported links to our drugs food. Can the First Minister provide an assurance to my community that the Police Scotland and Inverclyde are receiving additional resources to help them track down the perpetrators of these attacks? And can she confirm that having a, a single police force actually makes it easier uh, for additional resources to be moved around the country when it's required? First Minister. Uh, I was appalled to hear of the attacks in Greenock and I, I certainly share Stuart McMillan's concerns. Uh, the policing of any incidents like this is an operational matter for the Chief Constable, uh, but I am able to confirm that Police Scotland has increased its presence in the area in an effort to prevent further attacks. And I would certainly urge the local community to contact Police Scotland if they have any information that may assist with the ongoing investigation. Um, I, uh, obviously, uh, issues are uh, raised in terms of uh, single national police force. Uh, I think a single service brings many benefits to our communities, not least through providing flexibility and equality of support. Um, and the additional funding that I mentioned in my original answer is helping to ensure that officer numbers are maintained, which I think is crucial during these times of unprecedented demand on our policing service.